Bastard, I hate you. You asshole. I hate you. Princess Frog, Episode 1 Two hours earlier The last one ran out in tears. She was screaming blue murder. So who ended up doing her makeup? Another artist, probably a deaf one, wearing a hazmat suit. <laughs> Move it before everyone leaves. Girls, do you have a death wish? No, lilies are supposed to be here. They have specifically ordered lilies. Who has? The bride's mother. Actually, she doesn't have a mother. Ola. God, not this. The most attractive baccalaureate in our city at her 22 years, the tabloid's darling, famous for her antics, Irina Sharavska is getting married. They say that this marriage is just another lucrative deal for businessman Ihor Zaravsky. Who invited them? I did. Why? No reason. Are you kidding me? Lily's at Ira's wedding. I said no lilies. What's wrong with them? Any decent wedding needs lilies. Ira's mother left her lilies before leaving us with that stupid note. Was your daughter's marriage planned by you? No, it was her decision. We are happy that Ira is finally getting married. <laughs> there are rumors that change is in the cards for you too, too, another wedding. Well, who knows? <laughs> Got it. We take pictures, post them, and wait five minutes. Got it. Whoever gets less likes goes to Ira. What are you going to tell her? I'll just say that this bitch came to the wedding, and then I'll run. <laughs> are you ready? Let's do it. Five minutes. Go. Go. I'm only eight years Ira's senior. We're like sisters, right? None of the stepmother stepdaughter nonsense. We became friends, and we get along famously. Excuse me for one minute. Olha, what's the brand name? You look gorgeous. It's a secret. Thank you. Well, And stop. How many? Let me refresh it. 153. You're cheating. How many do you have? 61. Congratulations. Godspeed. Go. Go to hell. Come on, go. Ira, listen. There is. What's this? Where? What are you wearing? Disgusting color, lame fit. Have you looked in the mirror? What do you mean? You chose these dresses. What? Nothing. You look gorgeous. And that's what matters. Everyone will swoon. Okay. I'll wear this one. I don't care if they swoon. I didn't want any of it. What do you mean? The wedding. Not the wedding, this, the restaurant. The stupid guest's father knew I wanted a destination wedding in the Dominican Republic, but no, he had to show off. Well, it's a nice restaurant. Watch it. Hi. 
Hi, hello. Are you nervous? A little. I still have 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes. Ira is going through the third makeup artist. Thank you. Listen. I've been thinking. You and I are virtually family. How about you come work for me when you guys are back? You can start from deputy department head. Mr. Zuravsky, it's so, I don't know. It's actually family business. Oli Jamie, you need to provide for the family now. Your wife is rather high maintenance. Thank you, I appreciate it. Do I look? Okay, you look perfect, a Hollywood star. Good thing you convinced Ola to come. I know I was against it. But it's not right. We're family. Good thing you understand it. Ira will come to terms with it. She just needs time. About a hundred years. Okay, let's go. Ira, listen, I saw. You are so beautiful. What the hell are you doing here? Excuse me, what? Are you hard of hearing? I'll say it again, what the hell are you doing at my wedding? Ira, darling, Ior invited me, it's a wedding, a family affair. Everybody out. I said out. You too. I know it. Relax. Save your worries for your own wedding. Thank you for Kostya, Leosha. I thought no one would be able to tame her. Don't worry. She will adjust her standards when she has kids. Remember yourself at her age. At her age, I worked like a horse to provide for my family. I think they are a great match. Kostya is the calm one, and Ira? Swillful and spoiled. Stop it. That's not what I was trying to say. I know what you meant. Excuse me. Leosha, I'll be right back. Can you tell our viewers how much money you spent for this spectacular event? <laughs> Who talks about money? Barricades, these are our friends. Money is the least of our worries. <laughs> I even brought you a present. Get out of here. Baby, relax, or your makeup will smudge and make you look ugly. Go away. Now, if you call me baby ever again, I'll tear all your hair out. Shove your present up your... Irina. Ihor. It's okay. Ira is nervous because of the wedding. I understand. Dad, don't you hear what she is saying? She is manipulating you. Stop it. Manipulating? I came up to give her my present. It's beautiful. Darling, keep it. She doesn't deserve it. The lying bitch. Calm down. Ira, why do you treat me like this? Dad, don't you care about me at all? Why did you invite her to my wedding? Because Ola is the only person close to me. And soon she will become my wife. But you don't care about it. Either, as always. Shut the drama. Your guests are waiting. There are guests outside. It will take Ira at least another 30 minutes. You're crazy. Finally, people are getting restive. How is Ira? Having a tantrum. Kostya. Where are you? You bastard. You bastard. Asshole.
In a couple minutes, the wedding ceremony will begin. Everybody is waiting for the bride, Irina Shuravka. Ihor, why does your daughter hate me so much? Why? Ira is out of control. What the hell are you doing? Why the hell are these goddamn lilies here? Ira! Looks like there will be no wedding, but there will be a lot of fun. Stay with us. The notorious daughter of a millionaire, Irina Sharevska, once again entertains the public with her antics. A broken car, a scandal at a supermarket, a drunken brawl at a disco, and now the mayhem at her own wedding. This year was especially intense for Irina Sharovska and her family. Thank you, my darling, for just another scandal. Thank you, Daddy, for the unforgettable wedding. Where is the lying bitch? Don't talk about her like that. Ola is my fiancé. Are you aware that your fiancé sleeps with my fiancé? Nonsense. I saw them at the wedding. Are you doing it on purpose? To break us up, right? You think I thwarted my own wedding and made a fool of myself on camera to break you up with this slut? Isn't it your style? Your antics are famous. There is a name for what you're doing here. Daddy dear. Do you know what it is? Betrayal. I'm sick of all this. I fell in love for the first time in a while. Is it so hard for you to just be happy for me? You fell in love with a lying, double-dealing slut. Shut up. Don't you dare to talk about her like this. You don't love anyone. You only think about yourself, just like your mother. The bolter. Maybe I should follow her example. Go ahead. Godspeed, no one is stopping you. Just remember, I'm not going to help you anymore. Be happy with her, daddy dear. Don't forget to have her sign the prenup, or she'll leave you high and dry, and you'll swallow it. And Kostya, really? Why would she do this? What do you mean? She wants everything that is mine, bitch. Weird. What are you going to do? Go to Grandma. What Grandma? This is my mom's farewell note. She goes, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it in other bullshit. But there is also my grandmother's address if you are in trouble. You can always go to your grandmother. She will help. You mean this is your only option? What do you think? My wedding was cancelled. You know, my fiance hooks up with a whore who wants to get rid of my father. Not only he doesn't believe me, but he also kicks me out. I'm stressed out. Give me the golden dress. Have you even seen this grandmother? I don't remember her. Mom took me to see her when I was little. In Kamishin. Where is it? In the middle of nowhere. I guess, listen, go to the post office and send my grandma a cable. Like her beloved granddaughter is coming, let her come pick me up. Post office? Are you kidding me? I've never been to one. Sana. Okay. I'll try. I don't get it why you need it, though. Daddy will come to me crawling. 
You'll see, since he doesn't know how to say sorry, he'll apologize with presents, and I'll decide whether to take them. Well, our princess has left. After all, what am I going to do? Be sad. Suffer. I was dumped at the altar, after all. Okay, you poor thing. Bye, see you later. Are we ready? Olha, do we really need all this? It's my first marriage. I want everything to look beautiful. We don't have a single decent picture together. Olha, stand closer. Like this. Yes, please relax. It's not a passport photo. That's better. Relax my ass. Come on, baby. I'm worried about Ira. I said things I didn't mean. Mention her mother, too. She wasn't at her best, either. But I was too harsh. Let's sit down now. Let's do it. This girl is used to manipulating you. And now she has crossed the line, Kostya and I. Can you believe her? Please sit straight. Ola smile. She has always been difficult. Come on, put your hand here. Especially after her mom ran away. All these shrinks I took her to were talking about unconditional acceptance. Look what it got me. And these lilies. God, what's the big deal? It's time for her to grow up. You've raised her, gave her education, that's it. Ola, put your arm around your husband. Like this. Yes, like this, that's great. Get closer to him. She has been motherless since she was 13. She isn't a teenager anymore. She can handle it. I have another dress. Let me get changed. Yes, sure. Don't go anywhere. Let me take one of you along. Please don't do that. Cow! You're the cow. Go to your village. What are you staring at? Get the suitcase in the trunk and let's go. Didn't you hear me? Who are you? What do you care? Start your clonker. And let's go or I'll find another cab. Get out! I'm not going anywhere. Out, lady! Are you out of it? Do you want to lose your job? I can help you with that. What is your cab company name? Save your breath. I'm not a cabbie, and there is no cab company here. Will you get out or do you need me to help you? The royal estate is in the other direction. You hillbilly. Commission.
shit. Finally, I was starting to wonder where my granddaughter was. I had been waiting for you at the bus stop for hours. Granny, you won't believe it. I saw a cat in a tree. All the kids were filming it. Can I take it home? All I need now is a cat. So I'm waiting for you like an idiot. And here you are. Why nobody picked me up? Miss, who are you? Wow. So I thought it was wrong, right? You're my grandmother. After all, so I decided to come visit for a couple days. To surprise you. No, I can leave if you want. Haven't you received my cable? Meet her with flowers. Coming tomorrow, this one. Sana, full. Who is she? I'm Masha. Go to bed. Now, you too. What do you mean? Go to bed. Lights out at 10. I'll put you in the spare room. Tomorrow we'll decide what to do with you. Why didn't you tell me about her? There is nothing to tell. I don't remember when I saw her last. It's a miracle she even found the house. What is it she wants here, I wonder? She's pretty. The face, the hair, like a princess from a cartoon. A princess. Go to sleep. Good night. You're so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's almost 10 o'clock. Granny and I have been up for ages. Granny's tending to the garden. And I'm helping her. The chicks have laid eight eggs. Can you believe it? Listen, you need to tidy up the room. Granny will be mad. The house must be in order. Mm -hmm. Sure. I can tell Gran that you've been up for a while, so that she didn't scold you. Good morning. Hi. Milk, it's goats. Where are you going? To get breakfast. Don't worry, bring him to me for tutoring. Don't worry, I don't charge much. Which part didn't you understand? I want Frida. Excuse me, I don't want what it is. Get her an omelet with cheese and sausage. 
Thank you. It's not a frittata, but close enough. I saw a video on cooking frittata. I'm Ira. Katia. I live here. And I came to visit my gran. What do you do for fun here? Well, you've already seen our best restaurant. You mean this one? A movie theater, a club. We had a house of culture. It's something like a theater, but it was shut down. So what do you people do here? Being bored. Trying not to devour each other. Where is my frittata? Right. It doesn't look like you're here for vacations. This would be the last place I'd come on vacations, believe me. I just need to teach someone a lesson. I'm Irina Shurovska. I hold an account at your bank. I've lost my credit card, so I need to block it. Code word? Give me a minute. Lilies. Hi, I'm Irina Shurovska, a client of your bank. My wallet has just been stolen. I need to block my cards. Lilies. Yes, thank you. I wanted to move away. Why didn't you? I did. And then I came back. It appears they didn't need chemistry teachers there. I went to the Kiv Teachers College. Really, me too. Are you kidding me? Dad made me. I studied English. Everyone knew I wasn't going to get a job, so they were quite lenient. I teach chemistry at the school I used to go to. I thought I was going to visit with my granny, you know, pies, headscarf. <laughs> Irina Kostyantinovna? No, she isn't the pie-baking type. She used to be a city council member and hold everyone in line. Now she's a janitor at the school. She doesn't behave like one. I wish she told me anything about my mom. She doesn't want to open up. She doesn't talk to anyone except for Masha. This is what's driving me mad. Where did she come from? Masha. She goes to our school. The old lady was bored, so she took her in. Okay, I'll figure them out. Be careful, janitor or not. Everyone is scared of her. Really, she didn't even ask about me, I say. Did he call you? I'm not yelling, of course, oh, I wouldn't let him. Okay, I'll figure it out. Right. I'm having fun, bye. What are you doing here? Who said you could touch my stuff? No one. Then why the hell did you? And where is the rest? I didn't touch anything else. I put the rest into the wardrobe. It's my stuff and my business. Who asked you to do anything? What the hell are you wearing, frog? Hi. Hi, Yura. How are you doing? Not bad. Masha, why are you so upset? We have a princess staying with us. It's so much fun. Wow, we met. Did you tell her? What? To clean my room. So Masha did it for you? What is he doing here? Standing. 
You have no business here. Stop picking at him. Okay, I'll get going. I'll come back later. Go ahead. You wifey must be waiting. Shut your mouth. Don't shut me up. Another word, and I'll kick you out and stay away from Yura. What is it? Do you know who Robinson Crusoe was? No, of course you don't. Granny told me to wake you up. I'm up, off you go. Put these on. The hen house is over there. Gather the eggs, give fodder to the chicks, pour them water, then take this spade, dig the garden, and spread the manure from that cart. Then you need to grate the pumpkins, stack the wood, and hang out the washing. Do I need to sort peas from lentils, too? I'll help. Go to your homework. We live here alone, without house help, you're in no hurry to leave. You eat well. If you want to stay, you need to do your share. I see my own grandmother grudges me a piece of bread. Your mother never shirked her chores when she lived here. Now I see why she left. You again. Uncle Yura, hi. Hey! Where have you been? We had been waiting for you all night yesterday. Yura, hi. Hi. Where are you going? You haven't finished yet. She'll never be able to wash it off. It's a shame. Yes, a pity. It wasn't easy to find this manure. How are you? Fine. I stopped by to ask if you needed help. No, thanks. I now have all helpers I need. By the way, thanks for the potatoes. Masha loved it. I'll pay you later. Okay, after the payday. No problem. There is no rush. How about a cup of tea? Come on in. Rags. Brilliant. Of course it is. I saw it at the latest fashion show in Milano. Were you in Milano? I wasn't. I was at the latest fashion show. Don't humiliate yourself. Take any. 
Sure. What is it? None of your cards worked. They are blocked. What? All three? It's impossible. Miss, do you have money? Cash? Almost none. Then please leave, but first pay for your coffee. I don't know about your Milano, but here coffee is free only for customers. Miss, I have platinum cards. Call your manager. I'm not discussing it with you. Hi, yes, Irina Sharevska. What do you mean? Report it is lost. What the hell? I'm holding it in my hand. I didn't call you, and I didn't ask to block anything, so unblock it. What do you mean you need my presence? Businessman Ihor Shuravsky married Ol Hakulikova, who had been his personal assistant for five years. We weren't able to meet with the newlyweds. The press wasn't allowed at the wedding, probably because of the recent scandal at Irina Zorovska's cancelled wedding. Recall that it wasn't the businessman's daughter's first antic, but it definitely was one of the most colorful ones. Want a drink? Want a drink? I already had one. Do you have a cigarette? Do you have a cigarette? Wait for me here, okay. Girls, do you have a light? Let's see. Will you? Yes. Thanks, let me go, you idiot. What did you call me? Are you out of control? Cops, cops. What are you doing here? Are you okay? Where is my phone? Why are we sneaking? Is Gran asleep already? She isn't here. She went to the neighbor. Why all the cloak and dagger? Oh. Then this lamp. It's like in a prison cell when the warden is out. What do the inmates do right? Anything. Anything that's forbidden. Even turn on the lights in all rooms. Wait. Is it out of bounds? Let's go there, lead the way. Maybe we shouldn't. It's really, really forbidden. Really, really, right. Let's go. 
Come on. Give me your hand. Thanks. <laughs> We're here. You mean you never wanted to come up here? I did, of course. Maybe she hides bodies here, like Bluebeard. Who is Bluebeard? Don't you read at all? I haven't read about Bluebeard. Mom. Let's get out of here. What happened? I said let's go. Are you back? Daddy, where is mommy? It's all your fault. I hate you. Baby. Come here. Are you up already? Princess Frog. I had a weirdest dream. Listen. Come here. Episode 2. Baby, I'm horribly late. I have tons of work to do at the company. It can wait. Listen to you now. Why couldn't it wait for us to go on a honeymoon? You know how important this deal is. Where would you like to go? The Dominican Republic. Okay, Dominican it is. Pick up a hotel. Oh, Leche. I, the lawyer, put together a draft prenup. Can you look through it? What? What do you mean, prenup? Are you offering me a contract? God. How cynical, how soulless. What's wrong? I thought you loved me. I love you. Why don't we get a divorce right now? You think I'm with you for the money? I don't think that. We have just gotten married, and you already accuse me of being a gold digger. I don't accuse you of anything. The lawyer wants us to sign it, that's all. Oh, I don't suppose you made your first wife sign a prenup? Because my first wife and I had nothing, not even a wardrobe. Or maybe because you really loved her. What do you want me to do to prove my love? I don't know, tear it up. Are you serious? Are you happy? I love you so much. Okay, baby, see you at work. Sana? No, Mr. Zaravsky. She doesn't pick up her phone. She said something about going to her grandmother. Of course, I'll call you as soon as I find out. Goodbye, are you crazy? What if he heard you? Heard me breathing? Or does he think that you are a virgin? Well, maybe he does. I wonder if virgins can have such delicious curves. <laughs> what if Ira finds out? Who cares? She dumped me? Where are you going? To work. To stay at the office for 30 minutes, make sure your dad sees you, and pick up your check. Why not? Wake up, wake up, come on. I know where I saw that pretty lady. What lady? The one from the pictures. Are you sure? Yes, come on, I'll show you. Okay, let me just wash my face.
I came here with Granny once. She planted flowers. When I saw the picture in that room last night, Hannah Shirovska. I remembered. God, she died so long ago. It appears when I turned 13, she died less than a year later. Grand knew, of course. Me and you, we are alike. We don't have moms. It's you and I. It's easier for you. You don't remember yours. It isn't easier. Hi. Are you following me? Let's go. Go inside. Why didn't you tell me about my mother's grave? You didn't ask. So I didn't need to know about her room, too. Who said you could go there? It was locked. Not well enough. How did she die? I don't know. Yes, you do. Tell me. I said I don't know. I collected her body at the Pavlovsk hospital and buried her here. And didn't tell anyone. Who would I tell? You and your daddy. You never called me, never came to see me. And you, you came when you had nowhere else to go. My own grandmother. What did you guys do to my henna to make her run away? Are you going to do your chores? I am. Cool. Where is Ira? I have no idea how she's getting by without cash. What about you? I can't get by without cash. And without Ira? I'm suffering, don't you see? I might go visit her if she asks really nice. See what's going on. Why would you want to? Do you see? Andrei, our dads want us to get married. I can't upset my dad when dad is upset. There is no cash. What about Olha? Everything is fine with Ola. May I? Yes, Boris, come in. Mr. Zurovsky, I'm going to the notary. I could get your prenup to him. There will be no prenup. Boris, Ola doesn't want to hear about it. Too bad. What reason did she give? She believes it's cynical and soulless. Cynical, eh, Mr. Zurovsky? You need to persuade her. Do I really need to? You're paying me for protecting your interests. These days, even ordinary people sign prenups. For a wealthy person, it's a must. Big change, big risk. You need to make things clear. Do you want me to talk to her? 
I would explain that it's in her best interest. Let's try. Okay. Can you believe she made it my fault? The old witch, I don't know how my mom lived with her. My dad isn't an easy person either, but help. Listen, can I crash with you for a day? No problem. We have enough room and my parents won't object. Why the hell did I come here? In addition to Gran, this Lada man is spying on me. The Lada man? I think his name is Yura. He's always hanging around. Yura? Yura. It must be our coach. So he's a coach, too. A coach and a businessman. He owns a bakery and bakes bread in the mornings, deliver it, and then goes to school to teach P. A big business. Girl, so you are a web star. Look, almost a million of viewings. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? Work, make use of my degree. Okay, working woman, come on, I'll show you your room. Why don't you eat a normal meal? I don't want to. Come on in. Bet you the teacher isn't coming. Let's go outside. You aren't going anywhere. The class isn't over. Will you rat us out to your granny again? Maybe I will. We'll beat you up. We'll see about that. Forget it, she's a tattletale. Say it again. Come in, sit down. Hello, children. Hello, sir. This is your new English teacher, Miss Irina. Please make her feel welcome. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, shall we start? Masha? Keisha, go ahead. Good job. I wish you wearing gym clothes. Hello, Michael. Good. Senya. Don't be afraid. It won't bite you. It doesn't bite you, Uncle Yura. But if he bites Senya, it will be terrible. Stop laughing. Don't get upset. Uncle Yura. Uncle Yura, you won't believe it. Come with me. Get the equipment to the storeroom and play some basketball. Hey, don't you know anything at all? You're in second grade. What does it say? Moo? Come here, smartass. I said come here, you little. What's going on here? Are you in a zoo? What's this ruckus? If you want to be treated like human beings, behave like ones. Is that clear? Yes, yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Good. Go on with your class. Did you see what she was wearing? I give detention for clothes like these. You're right. It's a school, not a disco. Does she even have a diploma? The principal says she graduated from the Kiv Teachers College. I know all about Kiv Teachers Colleges. They aren't kids. They are monsters. Dumb and out of control. Right. And it's just primary school. Listen, let me give you a tour. 
Come on. Did you see that? Did you see them looking at you? Let them. I'm used to it. Ira, it shows that you never worked before in an all-women team. You need to be more careful. I don't give a damn. Hi, Katia. I see you have already made friends with our new colleague. Yes, I'm giving her a tour. Great. She'll need your help at least for now. We have a great team here. Good luck. Great team, huh? Ira, it's not such a big deal. You teach your classes and go home. No one here wants more. Just stay out of other people's business. They don't like snobs here. Oh, lot of man's den. The only guy among all these women. Is he married? Yes, he was. Fortunately, not anymore. Fortunately? Well, he is sober. He makes good money. He is easy on the eyes. After all, also, Yura isn't as simple as he seems. I think he is exactly as simple as he seems. Oh, really? If he were that simple, I already have a ring on my finger. I wasted so much time on him. I'm not giving up. Though, shall we come in to say hi? I'm not going. Here, look. Your size. What is it? A suit for work. No, thanks. Yes, thanks. You can't show your ass around. Not at my school. Is it your school now? I thought you were mopping the floors there. I do, in the bathrooms, too. And everybody there respects me. Stop embarrassing me. You'll wear this suit tomorrow. Yeah, right. While you live here, you will behave decently. Let me just pull my hair back, and I'll be a goody-goody. Baby, are you coming out? Listen, I got a call from the bank. They say someone has blocked all Iris' credit cards. Do you have any idea who it could be? Baby, come on, it's a punishable crime. Calling the bank under assumed name. Baby, I remembered that your Ira left her purse behind when she ran away from the wedding. I thought since her wallet and her papers were there, someone might take advantage. Olha, believe me, the wallet and credit cards are the last thing Ira would leave behind. She already called the bank and raised a scandal. Oh, have they unblocked her cards? Of course not. They need her to come in person. See, she is getting by without your money, believe me. She would come back if she had real problems. Please let her be. Let this child grow up. So, are you coming? Так. <laughs> Okay, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Dumb God, what a hellish machine won't your father mind us taking it? Come on, he doesn't drive, and I don't know how, I'm ashamed. But you'll learn to drive a lot of. Listen, you're a bitch. Why have we stopped here? The club is in the next street. You said you were ashamed. We'll pretend we came in a cab, let's go. Let's. Can you believe it? Gran hasn't even wished me a happy birthday. I'm sure she didn't forget. Champagne, please. It's her birthday. You could have told me. I would have bought you a present. A cool phone. Not like the principal's wife, but a nice one. 
What does he have to do with it? His wife has all the latest models, the phones, the cars. I wonder how she can afford it. Did you see our buffet? I did, it's awful. We also have a computer room. On paper, look. He's cute. Hi, my name is Alex. It's a nickname for Alexander. Irina. You probably aren't used to it, but that's how we say hi at the uni in London. I have been studying there for five years. I'm here to visit my grandma. Off you go, Alexa. What did she say? She didn't like it? She did. Can you believe it? He says, go get a job, why Kostia? When will I live? Listen, Ira. Why don't we get married? What for? Do you love me or what? Well, I guess so. Are you serious? Look, we get married. Our dads leave us alone. We move to a warmer area. We don't even have to come back. Let's do it. Do you mean it? Yes, let's do it. Kostya. Turn it down. Guys, listen, here's the thing. Ira and I are getting married. Cheers. Kadia, let's get out of here. Wait! Kadia, quick! God, it hurts! You bastard! How do people even drive these things? Why the hell did we have to drive anywhere? I had to. I forgot something at home. A cop. I didn't know you had them here. Okay. Sergeant Christian. Your license, Miss Shirovska. You're violating the rules, using a horn with no reason. What? Are you serious? You mean you stopped me for honking the horn? I mean, you saw what happened. And you stopped me instead of chasing that idiot who cut in front of me. Miss, your ride is over. DUI and some smaller charges. Couldn't you hold your tongue? We could sort it all out. But no, you had to show attitude. Now we sit here like two fools. Tomorrow is a school day, by the way. We'll do. Miss Shirovska, it was a mistake. I apologize. You are free to go. Are you coming? Cool, yes. Sir, we'll do. Did you hear him? What's wrong? Who cares who called him? We are free. It's cool. No, it's not. You came. There's no need. No. So, we're free. Let's go.
Thank you, Rai Hori. I owe you, of course, it's her birthday. She must be celebrating. Of course, I'll make sure of it. I promise. Good night to you, too. Hey, waiting for you. Why didn't you go looking for me? You were with a friend here. I've got a present for you. I made it myself. I had to ask to join the boys group so that they helped me with the clamps. But I cut it and glued it myself. Happy birthday. Thank you. Won't you take a look? Listen, go to bed. To the best IRA in the world from Masha, happy birthday! What do I do after I've finished? Write it again, until the bell rings. Yes, they've all made the same mistake. I should check the equation itself. Thank you. Hello. How can you eat after last night? Are you kidding me? It's from Yura's bakery. Have some. Nope. The kids were angels today. Because Yura gave them a pep talk. He said whoever disrupts your lesson will be banned from the bakery. Miss Irina, has someone taught you to say hello? Hi. The principal wants to see you. Listen, take the bun anyway. Your loss. Yes, you're right. The equation is incorrect. Miss Shirovska, do you realize such behavior doesn't suit a teacher? What kind of example do you set for the kids? What do they have to do with it? I didn't take them to the club. Anyway, the police let me go and even apologized. Who made it happen? If you are such a law-abiding citizen, why do our kids eat at a buffet that hasn't seen a remodeling for 30 years? How dare you, I'll fire you. No, you can't. I know my rights, and I know a lawyer. You've picked the wrong man, girl. I'm not a girl. We need to talk. What do you want? The kids complain that you call them morons. Because that's what they are, real morons. No, they aren't. 
What do you want from me? I'm sick of you. Listen, what the hell are you doing here? What kind of teacher are you? You should have stayed at home under daddy's wing, you spoiled brat. Idiot. I've been carrying it around for a while. Do you recognize someone? My favorite kindergarten teacher, Miss Santa. She taught me how to read and write. It's strange that you have nothing in common with your mother. Thank God you're here. What's going on? Why is she standing at the desk? Nothing is going on. Ira is in detention. She won't go anywhere until she writes everything she is supposed to write. Right, Ira. How long has she been standing here? Since the end of the classes. Three hours. You have no right to do that. And she has no right to tear apart other kids' notebooks and be rude to her teacher. Is it true? Of course it is. If I didn't interfere, she would start a fist fight. I have a huge experience and I have handled all kinds of students. Go get your coat. I will have to file a complaint to the principal. What? A teacher has no right to humiliate a student. I don't care if she is guilty or not. You are the adult and an experienced teacher. At least, I used to think that. Alas, I was mistaken. Goodbye. Mom, is it true that we are trailer trash? What kind of name is that? Where did you hear it? Xayusha called me trailer trash in class, so I tore up her notebook because she hurt my feelings. Baby, poor people have nowhere to live and nothing to eat. We aren't rich, that's all. But Daddy is doing everything he can to provide for us. From now on, I'll homeschool you. We don't need a school. Can you do it? I can try. What were you supposed to write on the blackboard? I'm sorry, it won't happen again. It definitely won't happen again. Well, candy floss. Yes. Let's go. Hi, can we have some candy floss? Of course, here you are. Wow, thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Come on, come on, go. Go play your dolls. The ball is for guys. For guys, you said. Okay, pass me the ball, girls. Cheer up. Okay, let's... Let's even the score. Kokin, I'll see you after classes. Easy, easy. Come on. On Saturdays, he takes the kids to his bakery and gives them baking lessons. They get to keep the buns they have baked. He plays soccer with them after classes for free. He doesn't charge for coaching. But why? The kid in the goal is Visha. His mom works a couple towns from here. She leaves early and comes back late. His dad is a drunk and he beats Visha up. So he needs somewhere to go until his mom comes home. The girl in the blue coat is Natasha. She is an orphan and lives with some relatives. And as for Masha, you know all about her. Yura knows that these kids have no place to come to after school. What about him? Him too. Come on, throw it back. Come on. Will you take this one? No, there's too much stuff already. You think you'll buy a new one? Ihor will buy it for me. Yes, 
Sure, he will, don't you doubt it, take it, you'll need something to wear. Mom, where are you going to live? In a shared apartment, later we'll buy a place of our own. You married a pauper, and now you're going God knows where, why can't you stay here? It's a big house. We have land, too. The kids at the kindergarten love you. Mom, I want kids of my own. You're too young. You'll regret it if you bury yourself in diapers now. I won't regret it. Ihor loves me. We'll see how much he will love you when he has to support you. I was as smart as you are. And that's why I'm alone now. Mom, you aren't alone. I'm with you. When the baby comes, it will need fresh air. Are you going to make me raise your child? Thank you very much. Will you come outside to say goodbye to Ihor? I want the best for you. Mom. I already have the best. I love you. Don't go, stay with me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What would I tell Ihor? You will come up with something. He will believe you. I can't. What about your honeymoon? I'm jealous, by the way. <laughs> Kostya, you have nothing to be jealous about. Believe me, do you know that I'm going alone? Yes, if Ihor wants to close that deal, let him do it alone. I picked up a great hotel in the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic? I'd love to go back there. What did you say the hotel name was? Sari? What are you doing here? Irina, hi, get in. The guarantee and the SIM card are inside, so now you can stay in touch. How is Dad? He is very busy at work. So he sent me and told me not to come back without you. He insists. Why is that? Has Olha dumped him? She is going on honeymoon. Alone, without dad, I wonder where she's going. Why don't I drive around while you're packing? Why not wait for me here? I have already got my scolding from Grandma. I should better drive off. She can be like that. You wanted to see me. Start writing, Katia. Writing what? Your notice, of course. What do you mean? Just what I said, drunken hooliganism, a night at the precinct. You should thank me for not making all this public knowledge. Start writing. But, you can't do that, it's all her. I swear, I begged her not to drink and drive. You've known me for ages. I have never. There is a first time for everything. Mr. Principal, you know that I need this job. I'll do anything you say, just don't fire me. 
anything. Our new colleague has been doing the wrong things that can damage the school's reputation. You know what I'm saying? Of course. However, we need an English teacher for the primary school. That's why you and I should do our best to reform her. Right. Irina, are you sure? Yes. Sari, it's okay. Absolutely sure. Yes, I'm not going back. Let him get mad at me. It won't be the first time. Bye. She isn't leaving. This selfish girl needs a good lesson. Her clothes are all she can think of. It's time for her to become a decent person. Isn't she a person? Go back inside. <laughs> what is this stench? It's my stuff. How, how could you? This rags distract you. There are more important things, and you don't see them. So first you begrudge me food, and now you destroy my clothes. What kind of person are you? Thank you for the present, Masha. It's a great box. Thank you. Sari, it is Irina. Please come get me, I've changed my mind. I'm telling you, she has run away. Vitaly saw it yesterday. Yes, in a fancy car. Has your friend bolted? What's wrong with her? She's moping, she's all alone now. Leave me alone. Or what? Let's go. Why? Not why, where, if you don't want to come, Vania. You can stay in the classroom. Princess Frog. Episode 3. Buns. Is this the place where they teach you how to make buns? Yes. Uncle Yura teaches us. Shall we go in? Yes. Hold the door, lead way. We're still closed. Uncle Yura, it's us. We came to learn, can we stay? Wow, what a crowd. Of course you can stay. Yura, are you coming? I have a couple of free periods. We could go to the movies. Looks like there will be no movies for us today. Well, take off your coats, wash up, and go to the kitchen. Yes! Great! Okay, the gingerbread will come out of the oven in 20 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll make the icing. What do we need for white icing? In English? Eggs. And for chocolate icing? Sugar and cocoa. Good job. In English. Well done. 
The buns are great. I thought you had left. I did. I needed to do something. It was so cool. Will we go on another field trip? We'll see. So delicious. What are you wearing? I borrowed these from Katia. You've burned my skin, haven't you? Give me more, Masha. Hold this. I'll get it inside. Okay. I was in Pavlovsk. Congratulations. You said you collected mom from there. And? They only have one hospital, and mom had never been admitted there, let alone die there. I've double-checked. No, Hannah Kateva or Hannah Shirovska is on the list. Can I stay with you for a while? Will you feed the chicks? Why is she rude to you? No, quite the opposite. She was very polite. Why didn't you bring her back, as I asked? What was I supposed to do? I told her everything you asked me to say. She was relentless. She asked me to take her to Pavlovsk and told me to go back. She said she'd take it from there. Strange, so she wasn't rude, you say? Maybe it's her grandma's influence. She is good at that. I had a chance to meet her. She never forgave me for henna. She kept blaming me for not taking care of her. But I was doing everything for them. Trying to secure their future. Yes, I lived in the office. Sari, pull in here. Ola is coming back today. I need to buy her flowers. Shall I go get them? No, thanks. I've got it. Hi. Hi. We have received fresh carnations and chrysanthemums just yesterday. They will last long. They are too basic. Roses. Then, do you need a bog bouquet? Yes, a big one. For a maternity ward. What makes you think that? What's this? Flowers. They didn't have henna's lilies, so I thought. Bringing a flower pot. What about the nurses, the doctors? Are you going to tear off a leaf for each of them? I didn't know I was supposed to. Of course. How would she know? You are never around. So you never know anything. Give it to me, henna. Mom, you came after all. Of course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you have a name already? Ira, after my mom. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. I'm all for it. Do you want to hold her? Let me. You're doing it all wrong. Give her to me. Can I talk to you for a minute? I'll be right back. Okay. See, we have this tradition. We tell the mother to come back to us for the second baby. I don't think this is a good time. It is a good time, in your case. I don't advise you to come back. Why is that? Your wife didn't want me to tell you. She was worried you would be upset. The delivery was complicated with extensive blood loss. We had to operate to save her and the baby. You mean she can't have another baby? She can't if you don't want to put her life at risk. Well, shall we go? Let's go. Let's go.
Is everything okay? Sure. Mom, wait for us. Roses, a big bouquet. Usually men buy them on special occasions. You know what, I'll take this one. Good choice. Let's go. The attention that counts, Hannah didn't get enough of it. I won't make this mistake again. I know she hurt you, but I'm worried. Something is very wrong. All these trips in the middle of nowhere. Kostya, you know her? She must have changed her mind long ago. But she will never start this conversation. No, of course not now. Not right now, whenever you have a chance, okay? I'll text you the address. Hi, how was the flight? How was your trip? I missed you. I couldn't tell. Is it that bad? I didn't want to come without flowers. You didn't have to. Are you still mad at me for not coming with you? Let's go buy you new flowers. Ihor, it's not about the flowers. Rags. Masho, what's wrong? Everything is so beautiful. It's a bit scary. You weren't scared of trying my clothes at home, were you? How is the store different? But it is different. Don't be scared. We are celebrating today. Celebrating what? Turning you into a princess. I don't know. Miss, we are closed for audit. Oh, the sign on the door says different. We're open only for customers. That's who we are. All right, what do you want to buy? Please pack our purchases. I also want something sparkly. Oh no, I've had enough sparkles. You showed them their place. Whom? The saleswomen. Yes, Katya, I'm busy. I told you, no, I'm not almost done. I can't today. I have work to do. Yes, I have work outside the school. You too. Bye. Where is your cool phone? I sold it. What's wrong with this one? Even Patia's is nicer. Come on. At least no one will call you a frog anymore. Will you? No, your royal highness. I wouldn't dare. So, how much? Good evening, Ola. How was your trip? Okay, did you want something? Yes, I wanted to talk to you about the marriage contract. I thought I whore, and I have closed this subject once and for all. You see, I believe that in your case a marriage contract is absolutely necessary. Necessary? To whom? To you, first and foremost. It's better to secure your position early on. I had cases where a wealthy client successfully annulled their short-term marriage and even was able to sue their spouse for their property. 
First of all, I love my husband, and I have no plans to divorce him. Second, I have virtually nothing to sue me for. Man proposes, and God disposes. So I strongly recommend that you sign the contract. Otherwise, you and Ehor will sue me for my studio. I'm glad you understand me so well. So, shall we sign it? Listen. Why don't we try to come to an agreement? Mr. Zurovsky would kill me. That's not what I meant. Right. He cried Mutabori and immediately became human again, first of all. He settled his accounts with the wizard. What about the princess? He promised to marry her. Have patience, princess. He needs to defeat the villain first. Okay. And when he kissed her, the owl feathers fell on the ground. And she became a human girl, packed up her things, and went far away from this idiot. That would be a great ending. They should tell kids the truth. She's asleep. How should I get her to her room? I don't want to wake her. Masha, you can't wake her up with a drumroll. She has always been like this. How long is always? All her life. All her life, you said you had adopted her. It's a long story. Her parents had abandoned her, so I was able to become her foster parent. It cost me. I felt such pity for her. She was so small and quiet, not at all like you. Me? You'd yell all night so loud that all the street could hear. I told Hena, it's her nature. And I was right. Do you mean you babysat me? I used to. Your dad brought you two here once, said he was busy at work. And Hannah needed help. He could have saved his efforts. My help wasn't good enough for her. Did she want to do everything her way? She was stubborn like you. Or you. Me? No. I had to call your father to come take you back. He wasn't in much of a hurry, though. Why do you hate him so much? What is there to like? Hannah had talent. She could have become someone, help people. But she married him. And what did she become? No one, a housekeeper. He loved her, he loves me too. Really? Is that why you're still here? Is it love? First his wife runs away, and now you. Okay. Good night. Olha, where are you going? To a party with my girlfriends. You just came back. I thought we'd spend some time together. I'm sorry. Why don't I come with you? Let me just get dressed. No, what for? You don't like nightclubs. No, why? There will be girl talks, gossiping about you guys. I'd love to hear it. Believe me, you wouldn't. Why? Listen, order some food, watch a movie, you like that. Being alone. Peace and quiet. Bye. Don't wait up. Hi. 
Everyone, why are you guys so sad? We've just come back from a field trip. The kids are happy. Next time we'll go to the park. How fascinating. I think we all should introduce interactive classes into our schedule. The way they make you teach is dull and boring. Why did you stop? Please go on and dying to know what someone I gave a job to is saying behind my back. And I also gave you a second chance. As far as I remember, it wasn't quite like that. Don't worry, though, I can say it to your face. You can't lock up the kids inside the school and make them cram up the textbooks. This is in the Soviet Union. Are you going to instruct me, who has been the principal for 10 years, on teaching? Sir, the kids are bored in class. Our academic performance is one of the lowest in the area. Is that what you've achieved in 10 years? The teachers should be excited about their work, too. Listen to me. My dear, I will decide what we teach here and how we do it. You won't stay here much longer, as for your unauthorized outings with the students. It's called kidnapping. I will talk to the parents and tell them how you put their kids at risk. Yura, let's go. It's time to go to class. In a minute, excuse me. Sir, instead of telling Irina off, you should praise her. She is right about the academic performance. That's what you should talk to the parents about, also, about what you're going to do to help the kids get into any college. Also, you should tell the menace where the new equipment for the buffet is and the computers for the CS class you promised a year ago. A champion. Yura. I give you a warning for violating rules and regulations as for you. Irina, you will pay for everything you have done here, Maria. I'm waiting for the report. Did you have two? Are you happy now, Irina? The leaves are falling one by one. Summer is over, school is begun. Did I do well? I learned it for you. What do I have to show, really? Maybe the fact that kids are excited about classes. What? Nothing. You did well, Masha. Good job. I always wanted to be an actress, to perform for an audience. Come on, smile. Please. We'll celebrate the day of the school soon. That's right. Masha, I know what we'll do, and we'll put the principal in his place while we're at it. Okay, we'll get the kids together and start rehearsing. It will be awesome. Yoro, why did you interfere? Do you want problems? Don't you know how vindictive he is? I don't give a damn. Why didn't you support Ira? She is your friend, and you know she was right. Because I know who she really is. Then tell me, too. I'm not telling you anything. I don't want to talk about her. I was going to ask. You never said if you would come to my party on the day of the school. Katya, what's the rush? There will be many guests. I want to plan everything out. You know I hate crowds. It's okay. I can cancel the party and just be with you. What's going on there? Who cares, Yura? What do you say? Yura. Katya, later. Later. No, no, don't do that. Let me go. What's going on here? <laughs> Uncle Yura, we're preparing a play for the day of the school. I'll be the frog princess. Will you help us? Yes, please. You see, we need Koshki the wizard, and none of the kids wants to play him. I could take him, but I'm already playing the narrator, and also the kids say I'm not scary. And I am? 
No, you aren't either, but you are intimidating. I don't know. Please. We really need a Koshki. Okay, fine, but as a Koshki, I have some suggestions. Do you mind? Go ahead. Koshki is taking the princess away from her beloved Prince Ivan. Why isn't she trying to fight him? She's been taken away, right? From someone she cares about. So? Okay, look. <laughs> This is how the princess should be fighting, okay? Okay. When is the show scheduled? In a week. I think that, in addition to parents and teachers, we should invite people who can change something for our school. I've underestimated you. Well, now you've seen almost everything. How about a cup of tea? The computer class, if memory serves, we allotted money for it last year, and everything you have here is ancient. But we're waiting for the delivery in about a month. You know how it is, trying to get the best for the kids. It always takes time. Okay, Vanya, do you remember your lines? I guess so. I'll be here to help you if you need it. Okay. Okay. Miss Serena, my bow is broken. Did you ask Uncle Yura to fix it? He is getting the frog into her skin. You mean Masha. Okay, we don't have time for it. Just make do with what you have. Pretend it's not broken. People will understand. The guests from the ministry, was it you? The principal is in shock. Haven't you warned him? Are they here? Did they get a tour? You fool. We'll all get fired. Okay, my friends, off you go. Do you want to help? No. Then go take your seat in the audience. How is the frog doing? Still breathing. Well, am I scary? Very scary. <laughs> this is our biology class. It's exemplary. Take a look. By the way, your buffet looks really depressing. You've just had a remodeling. Not yet, but it's in the plans. You know these contractors. They are so unreliable. They don't care about kids or adults. They just want their money. I will be straight with you. This isn't what we expected to see. You should have given us a heads up. We'd agree on a date. Prepare for your visit. Mm -hmm. Finished the remodeling in one week. We were invited to see the play, so we decided to look around while we're at it. Speaking about the play, it's about to start. Let's go to the second floor. We've saved you seats in the front row. Let's go. Please take your seats, here. Here. Hello. Congratulations on the day of the school. Today we will show you the play The Frog Princess and also what we've learned in our English class. I hope you will welcome us in a faraway land. In a faraway kingdom, there was a king. Hello. I'm king. I have uh, three sons. School number one. I found your death. Here are the egg and the needle.
The evil was defeated. The prince saved his princess, and they lived long and happily, and once more. Just a minute of your attention. I want to thank Ms. Irina for making our old dream come true by organizing this function. There are some refreshments. We didn't think you would come so early, but... You did such a good job. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Guys, what do you say? Cool. I'm glad I got rid of the frog costume. It's uncomfortable being a frog. Miss Irina, we liked the show so much. Thanks. The principal liked it, too. Really? Congratulations. Let's take a picture together. Let's. Yes. Come here. Stand closer together, Olia, all together. Smile, everyone smiles. She always liked to be the center of attention. Excuse me, what? Ira, you were looking at her right. I'm Kostia. Yura, a big fan of Ira's performances. Kostia, Katia, Ira's friend. Padruga Ira. Ira told me a lot about you. Really? Of course. Kostya is Ira's fiancé. Didn't she tell you? It's so good that you came. Let's surprise Ira. Let's. Yura. Okay, go get changed. No, I should go. Come on. Ira. Yes. Surprise. Kostya. I'll leave you guys to catch up. <laughs> so now you're an animator. You've got talent. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here to save you. What do you want from me? As I said, I'm here to save you, babes. I'm not your babes. What kind of nickname is it? You used to like it. I never liked it. Has my father sent you? It's not about your father. I just feel pity for you. Pity? Did you pity me before? I've been here for a while. Before, you wouldn't answer my calls. I kept calling you because I was worried. You, you really think it was serious between me and Ola? <laughs> that bitch set me up. She knew you would run to me in tears and took advantage. I was shocked. Two, I didn't get it. I missed you, by the way. Go home, Kostya. To Ola or whoever, I don't care. Good luck. Look at yourself! Frog! She says, darling, this isn't sexy. And the rabbit says, I'm here to apologize. It's because he's a loser. Pessimists learn from their mistakes and optimists from their successes. 
Have you closed that deal? Finally, it was an incredibly difficult one. Did you see how Olha is treating them? She can do it. What about you? We all have our own jobs. Listen. How is Kostya doing? He went to see Ira and never got back to me. He didn't call me, either. Your husband is difficult to deal with. He doesn't know what a compromise is. Well, he does, but he needs special treatment by a woman. Is it that hard to call and say, we're fine? Come on. Maybe they don't have time for it. When Ola and you are alone, do you feel like talking to someone else? Right, Alexei. You can't imagine how hard we worked for this deal. We've closed it, haven't we? And thanks to whom, it wouldn't happen without me. I know him, he'd tell them to go to hell and brood at home. <laughs> My friends, I have a toast. Let's drink to talent. <laughs> Where are we going? What kind of question is this? We're going home. Don't you have our schedule? Yes, sorry. No problem, idiot. Olha, stop humiliating my employees. This is rude, after all. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared about your driver more than you care about me. You have been taking too much liberties lately. Don't insult me in front of my business partners at work. You are just my employee. Is that clear? I thought I was your wife. That's why I expect you to support me. Support? Do you want a divorce? What do you mean? Oh God, do you think I don't see anything? You want a stupid cow who will say yes to anything, like your darling first wife. Don't you dare talk about Hannah like this. Masha, why did you want to come with me? Grandma must be worried sick. I'm worried for Uncle Yura. He won't answer his phone. Call again. I've tried a dozen times. Keep trying until he answers. Ira. Masha, Masha, say something. Masha, where are you, Masha? Are you okay? I think I'll have a bump on my forehead. Will you be okay waiting here? Good. Ira? Ira, don't fall asleep. Ira, do you hear me? Look at me, you're going to be okay. Ira, do you hear me? I know. Can you two wait till we come home? Someone here is developing a bump on her forehead. Masha, come on, help me. Open the door. You're going to be okay. Get in the front.
Nothing serious. They both got away with a scratch. We can leave them here overnight. I feel all right. Quiet. Talk when you're talked to. Are you sure there's no concussion? I'm sure. Your granddaughters were lucky. An abrasion and a bruise. They got off light. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Why don't I drive them home? Can you discharge them? Irina Kostyantinovna, on your responsibility. Yes, sure, thank you, Yura. So that's why you were at the cemetery and not there. My wife and I had a huge fight in the car. The road was icy, the car skidded, and when I woke up, they were gone. How old was she? Nasha was six. The worst part is that I don't even remember what we were fighting about. I'm so sorry. When I saw you guys in that car, something exploded inside me. I couldn't bear it if you. I would lose my mind. Masha fell asleep even before she had a chance to get into her pajamas. Here, apply this to the wound. Let me. Thanks. What about Katia? What about her? There is nothing between us. We went on a couple of dates, but... She wanted more. But I didn't want it. Do you mind? I wish it were New Year already. Have some patience. Do you already know what you'll ask Father Frost for? Of course. Will you tell me? No, I can't. It won't work if I tell you. I promise I won't tell anyone. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's not a thing or a toy, it's something magical. God, where will he find something magical? We're doing the homework. Masha, get ready to go home. Get your coat and wait in the hall. Okay, what happened? I got a call from social services this morning. What happened? They want to take Masha from me. Take her away? Why? They got a complaint about her life being at risk with a statement from the hospital. Wait, I don't understand. She only got a bruise. Even I was hurt worse. Who cares if you were hurt worse? You can barely drive. Why? Why did you take her with you? So now it's my fault. Whose fault is it? I know it was the principal who filed the complaint. I don't think so. He has enough on his plate. I used to have a successful business here, and he was my partner. No, it wasn't anything shady. I just buy equipment and store at a storeroom I was renting at the school. 
I don't think it was his only source of income. Bribes from the parent and all that. It's big money. Our principal has expensive tastes. I don't understand who filed the complaint. Irina Kosti Antonovna, what difference does it make a concerned citizen? It's a serious accusation, and we can't just let it go if the child's life and health are under threat. Social services have the right to extract her. Masha was in a car accident caused by your granddaughter. But no one got hurt. Thank God for that. What if someone did? When my family died, I went away for a couple years. When I came back, I decided I wanted something simple and reliable. So I opened the bakery and got a job at the school. Can you guarantee it won't happen again? I didn't think so, so pack her bags. Please, don't take me to the orphanage. Please. Hi. Where is Masha? Look what the cat dragged in. What the hell are you doing here? You're nothing but trouble. Where is Masha? It's time you went home. The social services were here. What did they say? Can you tell me? Before you, we had no problems. Stop insulting me. Coming here and raising hell. The child is traumatized because of you. Get out of here. You think I got in that accident on purpose? You know how scared I was? You think problems will go away if I leave? What are you going to do? I'll think of something. What are you doing? Leave my things alone. Maybe we should offer them money. What money? Is it your way? Shutting up everyone with money? Don't bother. I can pack my own bag. Did you treat her the same way? Whom? My mother. She came to you and you pushed her away. What do you know? You fool. Princess Frog, Episode 4. May I? Come in. What is it? She called me. She sounded sad. The social services have probably been there. They have. They've called me, too, to ask some questions. And? Masha is still at home. It's too early to celebrate. It's okay. I know how to finish her. Come on in. Your coat. That's unexpected water. Take a seat here. I thought she had finally accepted me. I'm an idiot. Irina Kostyantinovna isn't an easy person. She loves you a lot. Loves me. You and Masha are all she has. There used to be your mom. And now it's only the two of you. She must have been hard on mom, too. When I lost my family, your grandma was the first to come and tell me she knew how I felt. Because she had lost a daughter, too. She smiled sadly and said that Hannah had her own family and didn't need her anymore. But I need my grandmother. You do now. You weren't here before. And Masha was. She'll do anything for her. But she kicked out her own blood. Where will I go? 
You can stay here if you want. You can take my room. And I'll sleep here. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you sick? Let me check. Don't worry. I'll work it out. Why did you kick out Ira? Why do you care? I want Ira back. Masha, what do we need her for? We had such a good life. Just you and me. Good morning. Morning. Let's go, colleagues. The classes are starting soon. Katia, listen. About Yura? Don't. I know. Gran kicked me out of her house. Are you serious? Please don't be mad at me. Katia, what's wrong with everyone today? The seniors are giggling, and everyone looks at me strangely. Pass me the folder, please. Here. Beautiful, huh? Where are these pictures from? From the Teacher's Hall of Fame. They took them down, of course, but not fast enough. Many had had a good look. I'll show him. Whom? The principal, of course. He isn't here. He left to the Oblast Center till the end of the day. I know where these came from. Only Kostya had them on his freaking phone. That's right. Of course, only Kostya. Someone's fiancé is calling. Ira, call the devil. She's not my fiancé. I don't have a fiancé, and besides, I'm really busy right now. How often does she call you? Wow, someone is jealous. What about your marriage contract? Have you signed it? That goddamn lawyer. I or agreed we didn't have to sign anything. But he won't let it go, almost like you. <sighs> Issuing ultimatums and all that. Offer him a share. I already have. Kostya. Why does she have your keys? I just... Shut up. She was watering my flowers while I was away. It's true. Sana, dear. Come on. Sana. Sana, my dear. I'm sorry if I scared you. No, it's fine. Fine. How is your dad doing? He's okay. I heard he was sick. Yes. He works with us in logistics, right. That's right. He gets sick a lot, so unfortunate for his job. He probably holds it dear. It won't be easy for him to find another one with such salary. Okay, I understand. Smart girl, tell your dad I said hi and get well soon. Of course. Tomorrow, maybe we could arrange something. I always supported you. Especially when you needed help to get your apartment. Irina, I remember everything. I will always be grateful to you for your help, unfortunately. In your case, there is nothing I can do, the trauma surgeon's report.
immediate threat to the child's health and life. What trauma are you talking about? It's just a bruise. She brings more of those from school. The complaint says that the trauma was received in a car accident. Interesting. Who filed the complaint? What difference does it make? An underage child gets in an accident due to your neglect. I cannot. I simply have no right to ignore it. What am I to do now? I have no idea. Sit down, please. Where is Masha? She isn't here. Yes, then. I see. So, who is on duty today? <laughs> Look who's there. What are you doing here? I can be here if I want. Waiting for your girlfriend. What girlfriend? The one in the pictures. Miss Irina, she's cute, right? Right. Does she hang out naked at home, too? I'd like to watch. Go to hell. You're lucky to have a teacher like her. Maybe she'll teach us something, too. Something naughty. Run. Well, something like that. Done. Yorav, did you see Masha? God, Masha, what happened? Don't worry, she's fine. I've cleaned the wound. There is no need for stitches. I was waiting for you. You poor head, Masha. You can go home now and take off the dressing later. I can't go home. They'll take me to the orphanage. Hey, don't cry. Okay, we'll sort it out. Okay. Sleepyhead. Good morning. Breakfast is ready. Seriously? Just a dozen of burned eggs, and here we are. What shall we do about Masha? It's all my fault. It's up to me to fix it. What's your plan? I'll start with the social services. Maybe I can find out who filed the complaint. You think they'll show it to you? I'll try to reason with them. Good luck. Call me if you need help. Thanks. Wow. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. I'm out of here. Let me help. Thanks. By the way, do you have those pics from school? Of course. Can't I have them? Dream on. You forgot your purse. Thanks. See you later. Have a nice day. We'll see. Masha got hurt when she was with me. Our grandmother had nothing to do with it. She is the one who is responsible for the child's well-being. Is that right that your colleagues visited my grandmother following a complaint? Yes. That's right. Can I see it? On what grounds would I show it to you? I'm not going to take it from you. I just want to have a look. There is no risk in it for you. I would be grateful to you. What do you mean? Here. Thank you. 
Thank you. So it was Katia, thank you. The complaint. Excuse me. No, no, no. Grandma. Grandma. Open up, Grandma. I know you're in there. Where is Masha? Grandma, please. Don't push me away, please. Actually, we aren't supposed to, but since you're a cult. How is she? Quiet. They didn't have to do it this way. Your grandma started a scandal. What do you mean? She locked up the door and wouldn't let them in. They had to call the police. When they came inside, they saw the pack bags. Was she trying to escape? So they took the girl. Masha. Masha. Masha, how are you? How do you feel? I'm fine. I missed you. Masha, listen. You won't stay here. I'll get you out. I promise. I brought you something, a book. Your favorite fairy tale, isn't it? I hate your tales. They are lies, and you are a liar, too. She will be okay. Please take this. Daughter. Olia, did you see my cufflinks? What is it? A present. What for? Can't I do something for the man I love? Thank you. I miss you. Me too, darling. Me too. Are you worried about that deal? No. Kostya won't take my calls. He came back without Ira, texted me she wasn't coming back and went off the radar. I'm not surprised. I'd go off the radar if I were him. On the other hand, if she isn't coming back, maybe she likes it there. Sure. Don't push her. Just give her some time. Everything will be fine. Okay, I need to go. Darling, you're present.
I even called Dad. What for? He could help. He knows people he won't pick up, though he hangs up on me. He must be mad that I didn't come back. Maybe you could try to apply to adopt her. Have you considered it? Of course I have. I even went to the social services again. You know what they told me? That I'm unreliable. I don't own a house. I haven't held a job for long. And I'm single. Marry me. I know it's not the most romantic proposal, but it's not just for your reliability. <laughs> what is it now? Never mind me. Everything will be fine. Mom's hair is so short. Yes. She had a trendy haircut. I liked it. Wait, what year is this? It's my last year of kindergarten. So it must be 1995. This is mom holding me in 1996. No, you must be mistaken. She couldn't have changed so much in one year. Let's go. Let's. Yes, Maria Kateva. Let me see. What year did you say? Kamishin is a small town. We only have one maternity ward. She was born eight years ago. Okay, five babies were born on that day, four boys and a girl. Natasha Fyodorova, I know Natasha's parents well. So what does it mean? It means Maria Kateva wasn't born in this hospital, sorry. Thanks. Okay. Yes, of course, it's a new photo. Are you sure? Yes, look at the paper. This firm came to our market not that long ago. How long exactly? 10 or 15 years ago. This picture could not have been taken 23 years ago. Thank you, let's go. You're welcome. I don't mind hugging you any time, but do you want to explain? You haven't figured it out yet. It changes everything. My mom is holding a baby in the picture. So? I was born 23 years ago. This picture was taken much later, more precisely. Eight years and three months ago. It's not me in the picture. Obviously. Because it's Masha. What makes you think that? So? My mom had another baby, and that baby was Masha. Sounds improbable. Gran said she collected mom from a hospital in Pavlovsk. I was there, they don't have any information on mom. But this picture was taken at a hospital. I need to find this doctor. Excuse me, I've been wondering where I could see you before, and... Where did you see her? What is it? Your friend ordered your photos printed out. She has already picked up the first batch, and she said she'd come for the rest later, since you're here. I can as well give it to you. What friend? Blonde hair. Pretty face. Must be Katia. Right, Katia. The last name should be on the envelope. You'll figure it out. Thanks! So, shall we go to Pavlovsk? Mm -hmm. I just need to stop by at the school first. Stop. 
How could you be such a bitch? Go and take back your complaint now. What do you want from me? No, what do you want from me? What did you want? What are you trying to do by filing a complaint against Graham? Why did you print out the pics from Kostya's phone? You know very well whom I was trying to get. You don't love him. You just want his money. Don't talk to me about money. You don't know what it's like being poor and failing to get your dream. Well, maybe you will find out now. Never. Go to hell. Good evening. Sorry to bother you so late. What happened? Maybe you know the doctor in this picture. It was taken eight years ago, but maybe he still works here. Vasil Romanovic, he hasn't changed a bit. Do you know him? Of course. He is our department head. Natasha, please take this lady to Vasil Romanovic. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I remember this woman. The delivery was long and difficult, one of the most complicated cases in my career. She looks so happy in this picture. Of course she does, because her torture is over, two hours later. She developed a massive uterine bleeding. We were unable to save her, unfortunately, as far as I know. She didn't have family apart from her mother. She was my mom. Please accept my condolences. Her mother? Did she take the baby? Not immediately. The child stayed at the hospital while her grandmother was collecting the paperwork and organizing the funeral. The baby was such a joy. She still is. Could you give me a copy of mom's medical files? Check the archive. They should be keeping a copy. I'll give them a call. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ira! Ira, Ira. Sona? Hi. How are you? Fine, I'm on my way to the spa. You? Have you come back? Not yet. I was here to get some papers. How did you meet with your family? I was lucky. No one was home. No one needs to know. Okay. Okay. What about Kostya? What about him? He's a single young man. Ira, I'm sorry. For what? For not believing you back then. Kostya is still seeing this. I must say she scares me. Who? Ola. I saw them together, but I can't tell anyone. So don't. What do you care? I should go by. Good luck. Who is she? Just a friend. Do you have everything? All of it, even mom's birth certificate, her medical files, their marriage certificate. Do you need all this? I need ironclad proof of my relation to Masha. I've already requested a copy of her birth certificate. So shall we. Let's go. Get in. Thanks. Near our house. What do you mean? A lot of. That's all I needed. Okay, Zana, thanks for letting me know. I'll deal with it. Okay, Ira is out of reach. Kostya. Where the hell are you? Siri, we're going to Kostya's. But you're meeting. To hell with the meeting. Got it. It's open. How much for my sushi? What sushi? Kostya. Why don't you return my calls? I've been calling you for days. Why are you ignoring me? Mr. Zurovsky. What happened between you and Ira? Why was she here? I don't know. She turned me down again. 
How much longer can I chase her? I have a life too. I'm sorry. I just thought you might know why she was here. I have no idea. When will they deliver my freaking sushi? I whore. How could you? You piece of shit. Who, me, who ordered sushi? You weren't going to tell me, were you? What are you talking about? I know she is my sister. How long? I got the final proof today. Go away. I didn't expect any less from you. But if I leave now, you will never see Masha again, I promise you. What do you want? The truth, start from the beginning. Your father got Hannah pregnant for the second time. She decided to run away instead of telling him. This is crazy. She wasn't supposed to. The doctors said she shouldn't have another baby. Your father would insist on an abortion. But she wanted this baby. So she came to you? Where else would she go? She was four months pregnant when she came. It was a difficult pregnancy. We didn't have good doctors in this town. I had to take her to another hospital. They hospitalized her in advance. I thought my mom abandoned me, and still I never stopped waiting for her. Why didn't you tell dad and me? Because your father had taken my daughter from me once. And look what he'd done to her. He'd take Masha, too. Everything for himself and nothing for me. So you just hid her. Mom would come home with the baby if she survived. But she didn't. I needed Masha more. Are you serious? Are you? What about me? What about Dad? Was it your revenge? What about Masha? Masha was happy. Do you really believe it? Will you take her away? I will tell her the truth. Let her decide. The documents you asked for. Thank you. Mr. Zurafsky, Ola has just called me and said she was ready to sign the marriage contract. Small wonder. She is afraid she'll get nothing. Excuse me. Boris. Thank you for your good work, but I don't need a contract. Start drafting a request for annulment. So soon. All right. Let's go, Sari. Where to? I don't know. The nearest hotel.
замечательный результат. Excuse me, Ola, there is no need for you to come in. And why is that? Mr. Zorovsky has left, and the security won't let you in. I see. Are you filing for a divorce? What divorce? What do you mean? There will be no divorce. The marriage will be annulled. Just like I warned you about, Ihor, being a generous man, decided against suing you for your studio on the city outskirt. How noble of him. You know what? I'll get myself an expensive lawyer and see you in court. By all means, see you there. Hola, goodbye. Yura, Yura, wait! Who is it for? Her. Her name is Ira. And she's my future wife. I see. You're fast. Yura, never mind. She'll dump you. And you'll come crawling to me. She won't. And even talking to you makes me sick. Mr. Principal. What is it? Mr. Principal, you have to help me. Listen, leave me alone. Don't drug me into your dealings with social services. I have nothing to do with this dog and pony show. If you say something about my business, I'll bury you. Got it? Please. Enough. Go back to work. Hey, are you crazy? Watch where you're going. No, sir, you should watch where you are going. Are you the principal of this school, Mr. Vitaly Koval? Yes, that's me. What do you want? Ivan Petrenko, investigator with the prosecutor's office. You are under arrest on charges of embezzlement and bribe taking. This must be a misunderstanding. I was set up. Of course, Vasil. Listen, this really is a mistake. Mr. Koval, a confession will help you get a milder sentence. Let's go. Isn't she out yet? What's taking so long? Maybe the decision hasn't come through. I brought them the documents myself. The social services know all about it. Where have you been? At school. And? The principal isn't working there anymore. He had been a suspect for a while for stealing and conducting illegal business. Plus threatening the staff. Masha, Masha, never leave me again, okay? Never, never. Princess, this is for you. Thanks. Too bad it's vacations. I want to go to school. Wow, that's the first time I hear it from you. I'll wait for you in the car. Masha, I need to tell you something, something important. You aren't leaving, are you? You promised. No. It's about something else. You see, I'm your sister. Of course you are, who else? No, you don't understand. I'm your sister for real. I know it's not pretend. Let me help. Let's go check on Masho. Masho. What are you writing? A letter to Father Frost. Isn't it too early? Not at all. What did you ask him for? Nothing. What do you mean? Let me see. Dear Father Frost, I don't want anything for New Year. 
because I already have what I wanted most of all in the world. Masha. Masha. You mean you don't want anything at all? You know, I have a family now. A real big family. It's what I wanted. Masha. Irina Kostyantinivna, thank you for taking her in. Ira doesn't know that I called you. I see. How is she? You've spoiled her rotten, of course. But it's okay. She can be fixed. I'm sorry we didn't come visit or call you. It was wrong of me. Let's go inside. Ira Masha, where are you? Granny is calling. No, no, no. Let's go. Dad, what are you doing here? I missed you. I missed you, too. Dad. I want you to meet Masha, your youngest daughter. And this is your dad. Hannah came here because she was pregnant. She really wanted this baby. She died in childbirth. She was afraid I won't let her keep it. Go ahead. Hi, Masha. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Amira, you're soon to be done in law. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> Here comes the main course. Ira made it herself. After Granny's recipe. Come on, really? Absolutely. Yura, I'm so happy for you. 